Hello, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show some of the hidden tips and tricks on how to work with advanced filter that probably you've never seen before. So let's get started. The advanced filter was introduced in the 2010 version of Excel and it is located under the data tab of the salt and filter group. So we have it here. Basically, we use the advanced filter to filter our data sets using complex criteria. So let's see how to use this advanced filter using our data set. Now, based on our data set, we have about five columns. Date, brand, payment, region, and total columns. Now, I have the same number of columns laid out here where I want the result to be dropped. And also in cell P2, I have a drop down 1 to 12 representing January to December. Now, what I'm going to do is come to cell M2 and write a simple formula using the month function. Let's get started. So I'm going to type in equal sign and type in month. Now, the month requires the serial number as the input value argument. So to do that, I'm going to just give the value in cell A2 and then close the parentheses. So I'm going to use equal to math operator. So put that in there and then reference the value in cell 7. So I'm going to apply F4 key to make it absolute. And when I control enter, it's returned first. The reason is simple. The date value we have here is 22nd of January 2021, but the month we selected here is 7, representing July, okay? That's why it returned first. Now, let's go to the second thing. So, I'm going to come to the advanced, click on the advanced, and then we have the advanced filter dialog box. Under the action, I'm going to check copy to another location, and for the list range, I'm going to delete this and select the main data set. So I'm going to select the label or the headers. So Control shift right arrow to select to the right, Control shift down to select downwards, then hold down Control backspace to move back up. That is the list range. Now for the criteria range, I'm going to delete what we have here and select the month criteria label or heading and the force cell. So I'm going to select the two together and that is all I need for the criteria label. Now for the copy to where we want to dump the filtered result, I'm going to delete this also and move the advanced filter to the left. So I'm going to select this entire labels that is date, brand, payment, region and total and that's all I need to do. When I click OK, absolutely amazing. You can actually see that we selected the month of July. And if you check all the data we have here, you can see that they're actually July all through. You can press Ctrl down, arrow key to move down. So everything is July. That is one of the hidden tips and tricks that probably we've never seen using the advanced filter in Excel. Now let's change to uh, the month of um Let's choose November. So the moment I choose November, of course, it's going to also update here. And then all I need to do is click the advanced filter, check, copy to another location, and that's all. Click OK. Can you see that it is now updated here, which is beautiful. Even if you choose one, for instance, that is for January, and then it returns true, just rerun the advanced filter, copy to another location and click OK. So we're going to see all the transactions for the month of January. So that is the first hidden tips or tricks that I want to show you. Now, the second one is going to be, for instance, we have this payment column. And for the payment column, we have some that contains you know, money. For instance, we have the MoneyGram, we have Web Money. And we have perfect money. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to filter all the payments that contains money. So I'm going to just type down here. Let me just type in payments. Okay. Now, for the criteria, since I want to filter anything that contains money, I'm going to put that inside asterisk. Okay. So I'm just going to type in money and close the asterisk. And that's all. Okay. 
Now, what I'm going to do is rerun the advanced filter and then click on copy to another location. Now, for the criteria range, because we have two criteria, this is going to be the first criteria for the month and the payment that contains money is going to be the second criteria. So I'm going to modify this. So let me just click on this and then I select the two of them and that's all. Then let's click OK. Oh, that's beautiful. So we can actually see that we have the payment column for perfect money, MoneyGram Web, and that is and Web Money rather. So this is absolutely amazing. So that's the second criteria. But let's say we want to filter the payment that contains card C A R D. So I'm going to just type in inside asterisk card and put the asterisk at the back. Control Enter. We run the advanced filter, copy to another location, and that's all. Click OK. Bam. We have all the payments that contains card, you know, MasterCard, Visa card. That is awesome. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is how we can reorder our columns. Okay. That's the third, you know, tips and tricks. Now, you can see that we have the date here. I'm going to just move this. I'm going to call this on total. I'm going to now make this to the dates, okay? And let's, you know, transpose. Let's make this to be, you know, region, okay? Make sure that it is accurately typed. And let's call this one, you know, brand. And, um, okay, let's retain, you know, payment for this. Now, you can actually see that the original order of the columns are date, brand, payment, region, and total. But now we have really ordered the column here. Okay, so we have you know, total, region, payment, brand, and date. Now let's see whether these columns will be reordered. So let's do that. Just click on advanced filter one more time. In the same advanced filter, just check copy to another location. And that is all we need to do because the advanced filter behind the scene, we understand that now we have total, region, payment, brand. And date and it's going to deliver the final result based on the columns we have so click on ok that is absolutely amazing so we have the total here now we have the region we have the payment brand and the date column so these are some of the tips and tricks that probably you've never seen before using the advanced filter I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.